Let's take a look at your first alert forecast tonight. A live look over Tacoma. The mountain is out. What a gorgeous view right there looking over Tacoma. Today started off a little cloudy and cool though. And it's now changed to sunshine everywhere. And that's Madis magic. Madison, the clouds <laughs> are our friends. It is the catalyst that is keeping temperatures right in a very perfect range and will continue to do that through the weekend. In fact, speaking of clouds, I got some right here. Here's a live look from Claylock, and this is actually a huge improvement over yesterday. If you remember, the marine layer was all the way up to the shoreline there. Now it's a little bit offshore, but tonight, It'll be back and that will bring us that cooling that will keep things perfect through the weekend here. So if you are a Swifty or if you're just going to be in the region where Lumen Field is there, 79 today, 80 tomorrow will keep us safe and sound. And remember, there's two shows, one Saturday night, one on Sunday. Looks like we're going to be fantastic there as well. Now, if that's not your thing, head out to swim because, oh, it's going to be even cooler out there. Temperatures will run in the upper 60s and lower 70s. There'll be a little more cloud cover out there, obviously, because a little bit more of a marine influence. And those overnight lows will be tucking into the 50s. Oh, and bonus, it'll smell like lavender. Live look from Sun Mountain Lodge off towards Winthrop as we look back towards the west. A little bit of haze out there. We've been so fortunate, knock wood, that we have not had a whole lot in the way of wildfire haze. Still a lot of summer to go, but in the meantime, beautiful blue skies out there and just a few puffy clouds. We've got a magnificent summer weekend in the 70s and 80s. Those morning clouds that Madison was mentioning will give way to afternoon sunshine both days. We need some rain though, but it looks like we've got a delivery coming in on Monday and the timing couldn't be any better. So take a look at this. The new drought monitor was released yesterday and it's not so good. You remember pretty much all summer long, we've been seeing a lot of these colors basically indicating abnormally dry and moderate conditions. The new downgrade is this. Now we have severe drought conditions and it's not where we want them to be. It's basically right over top of the northern and central portion of the Cascades there, where again, we have not seen any measurable rain in a good long while. Now take a look at radar. We are completely clean and clear all the way down through Oregon. We are tracking some light storms that are taking place across central British Columbia there. Unfortunately, there's quite a bit of dry lightning firing off. We had the exact same scenario on Wednesday, but no new fire starts there. So hoping we'll get lucky there again tonight. Take a look at the upper level pattern. Again, I'm so pleased by this. This is a low pressure system. The associated trough that comes along with it is that guardian. It's that protector that not only keeps our temperatures regulated, especially in comparison to what we're seeing just a few hundred miles towards our south there, where we continue to shatter heat records. Future radar, watch this. The clouds will we start to move in tonight. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful sunset. We start off a bit on the gray side, possibly some light showers along the immediate coast. All that clears up. We get a beautiful evening, kind of a filtered sunset tomorrow night. Remember, they're now happening before 9 p.m. 8.58 tomorrow night. Looks like on Sunday, we'll see a little less cloud cover, and that'll give way to a beautiful day. And then take a look at the timing here. Late Sunday night into Monday morning, we're going to hold it, hold it, hold it, and then boom, we're going to bring this in first thing Monday morning. Again, it's not going to be a drought buster for us, but it will be the first First measurable rain that we've seen in four weeks. Seven day forecast shows an idyllic weekend ahead. We're going to pause, cool it off, take a drink of water on Monday, and then go back to perfect again next week.